planning the future of Jacksonville's downtown riverfront with help from the future generation. After speaking with a group of millennials, city council members are on board with the downtown investment authority proposal that finally brings new parks to the area. Tonight, a sneak peek at the DIA's five year plan. A beautiful sprawling walkway and landscaping along the St. John's River in downtown Jacksonville that will include an interactive element and children's musical play area and by night live stream projections on the CSX building with lawn seating and take a look at the iconic Friendship Fountain. All these images were on display by Jacksonville's Downtown Investment Authority, seeking input from the public about its five year plan to reinvent the Riverwalk area. This is not just Riverfront. This is not just a particular project. This is the overall downtown plan that guides us for the next five years. With a full room of curious downtown residents and visitors, Janella Pata is among those excited to finally see redevelopment. I just read that there's 23 buildings that are either being remodeled or built from the ground up in the downtown area. From Sky 4, you can see the area being discussed from Metro Park across from TIAA Bank Field to the shipyards property across from the Duval County Jail to the old Jacksonville Landing site, which is now Riverfront Park. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett spoke with this group of millennials who helped get city council members on board with the proposal Tuesday night. When people see women, people see children using a space, they feel that it's safer. And then guess what? More people come. And so that's why I think parks are such an important part of this. After tonight's public feedback, the DIA will make revisions and take the plans back to its board next week, February 17th, followed by a board vote on the plans February 23rd. Then they're off to the city council for review.